Alright guys, so today I'm going to try and repair my Nissan Qashqai um, As you can see, I've got some sellotape there on the uh, tailgate So if you've seen um, the Nissan Qashqai's Mark 1 and 2 with uh, sellotape across there Then uh, this is the problem that they've got most likely as well So what happens is um, This plastic piece here, this is where you press the button to release the boot And then you have to use this bit to lift it up and eventually the uh, clips behind here just break off it's a very very common fault with the Nissan Qashqai's uh, Mark 1 and 2 so hopefully today I'm gonna go and try and uh, repair this uh, this uh, tailgate so I was uh, thinking of just uh, buying a replacement uh, tailgate uh, so I called Nissan and um, they want something like 120 something pounds just for the, the bare plastic and then obviously I'll have to go and buy the paint and whatnot and uh, respray it myself um, also on eBay they got the uh, the pattern parts the uh, the copy parts um, and they're a lot cheaper around 30 pounds or so um, but the only problem is they got so many different variations I just couldn't find uh, my variation for my car so they got ones with a smart key so it's got a hole here they've got um so my one's got a camera a reversing camera so it's got a hole there for the camera and it's got all these different lights so they've got like literally 10 15 different variations for this piece of plastic so in the end uh, i came across uh, a company called x8r so they do uh, repair kits for this car and uh, other cars uh, so i thought well if i can if i can just repair the clips that saves me from buying uh, random uh, variations of the uh, tailgate and uh, having to spray it myself so I thought yeah I'll give that a go so I bought it it cost me 15 pound for the repair kit and uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, repair this tailgate I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how the uh, operation works so there's a button right underneath there press it and then you have to use this to yank the whole thing up and over time you can see it just snaps off so i'm going to show you the kit this is the kit that i bought the repair kit it's from a company called x8r improved uh, vehicle components that's the uh, details there so here's the kit all it is is two replacement plastics to replace those clips that are broken off and they've given up a, a bottle of uh, acetone so this is uh it's gonna stick the um the uh, pieces of plastic to the uh, tailgate and hopefully it shouldn't come off all right so we start off by trying to take the uh, tailgate off and um, so what we're going to need to do is uh, we've got two little clips here plastic clips we're going to try and pop them off with a flathead screwdriver as much so and so we've got one more on the right hand side so we're going to just wedge that underneath pull that up and just pull this off just like that and then you've got a 10 mil nut right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Go ahead and remove that. So now all that's holding them in place is these little plastic clips. So I'm gonna try and yank, yank them free. Oh, sounds quite scary, but it should be okay. So go and get, give it a firm yank to separate them. Right, so there we go. A couple more here. So and there you have it. Make sure you don't lose these clips. We'll need every last one of them right so now that we've got the uh, plastic off we've got if you look here we've got one two that's three four five of these 10 mil bolts to remove I'm gonna go and do that now go ahead and Off. Oh, make sure you don't lose it. Next one is here. Mm -hmm. 
they're not very tight at all. I'll just take them off. The uh, bolt is quite long, so it's quite a bit of screwing just to take it off. There you go. There's two. Here's the third one. They're very loose. You can just loosen them and just do the rest with your hand, really. Just like that. Make sure you don't lose these bolts. So now number four. Just crack it open and just do the rest with your hand. It's a lot easier that way. That's it. And the last one right here. This is my uh, reversing camera. I'm going to leave that on for now. I shouldn't have to take that off. And if I do, it's right there. That's it. Go right there, and that's that. Right. So now this should hopefully be free to come off. So we'll take off the uh, seller tape. So I had the cellar tape on there so, so it doesn't just fall off while I'm driving. Let's see. There's one more clip here so I might have to just pop it open. Try and see if I could push this through. That's it, so I've just popped that through. There you go. And now this should just come off and it does so what we're going to do is um, remove the clips for the number plate lights and just twist that and just pull that out do the same on this side so this is how you're going to replace your number plate lights as well twist and pull it out so now we've got the uh, button for the boot so we'll get a flat screwdriver and just push this down and out and then we've got one more right here. Like so. And there you have it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop these through as well, take them off so we don't lose them. I'll go underneath, just pop them through. Uh, pop it through, let's see from the top. Just come out like that. This one, Let's pop that through, and get that as well. So, keep these, we don't want to lose these. Oh, guys, so now that we've got the uh, tailgate off, we can have a good look at where they've broken off. These are uh, plastic hooks here, as you can see, they've all broken off on the left side, the right side, they're still intact. Go ahead and uh, take these clips off. We're going to need these later on. So this is how they should be looking. It looks quite flimsy. Uh, all the weight is on these clips when you're lifting the boot. So it's not a surprise that they're snapping off. So what we need to do is we're um, going to replace those hooks. And they've uh, conveniently written R for right, so I presume it goes there. And they're supposed to fit in nice and snug um, in place of these to replace them. So to do that, we're going to have to scrape these off completely and make a flat surface to make these on. And once we uh, get the acetone on there, it should uh, mold melt in to the plastic and hopefully not come off so I'm gonna go ahead and try to break some of these off so I'm gonna have to file these down and flatten this out so that we can stick these on on a very flat surface gonna have to okay so that's just popping off it's just breaking off it's quite brittle that's sharp I'll use something on that on this side just take that off so you see it's very brittle, it's just coming off just like that. See, they're just coming off, it's just brittle. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is these little sharp little bits sticking out, we're going to try and file them down both sides and get a nice flat surface so we can stick the new uh, clips on. Guys, so I've taken off all the um, edges that were uh, sticking out from both sides. So now I'm going to use a little sand block just, just to uh, smooth this out as much as we can. As you can see, it's getting nice and smooth. And also, we're getting uh, rid of the uh, the paint that's on there. Oh right, guys, so as you can see, um, this is definitely the uh, most time consuming part of this job by the looks of it, uh, but it's got to be done. Um, I've been using these uh, sand blocks, making this job a little bit easier, but we've got to sand this down right to the raw plastic. So um, I'm going to carry on, spend a few more minutes on this side, and then we move over to the other side. Oh right, guys, so as you can see, I've given the handle a, a bit of a clean up and uh, here's where I've sanded it all down um, I've sanded it down to the bare plastic because uh, we need to get rid of all the um, the paintwork as you can see so that the panels the clips can stick on hopefully without any issues as you can see there's a little groove there and that slots right into there and that should be in place like so uh, both sides just like that so what we're gonna do is use this acetone to hopefully apply it onto uh, both surfaces like so and we've got these clamps to clamp them into place and then hopefully that should uh, stick them on so we'll go ahead and pour some of the acetone into this little tub we've got a little brush to uh, apply it you want to be careful with this substance it's highly flammable so we're going to pour a decent amount in there go ahead and shut the lid what we'll do is just uh, mix this up a bit this stuff is um, reacting very quickly so I'm going to be quite quick with this. Should be okay for that surface. Now let's get some onto this. having to do this quite quickly because I can feel it hardening already sticking onto my fingers I'm gonna have to wash my hands thoroughly after this I'm going to slot this into place make sure it's in place right into that groove like so we um, just apply a bit more to the edges now all around I'll go and clamp these in place and hopefully that should do the trick and I'll come to this side and do the same here there you have it guys both pieces are on in place and i'm just going to wait for them to um, stick on properly give it a few hours and then we'll take it from there all right guys so um this has been there for a while now so i'm going to take these clips off and see um if they've stuck on 
so they feel pretty solid on there yep they feel pretty solid so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that back on the car now all right guys so we're gonna start reassembling everything we're gonna put everything back exactly as we took it off we're gonna put these bolts back into these new um, hooks that we've got just uh, slot them in some of them can be a bit uh, tough but just get it right in there all the way to the back like so done that one earlier Ooh. lost that so we'll go ahead and put the um, number plate lights back on like so So now we're gonna go ahead and stick the bulbs back in. So twist that on to both sides. We'll stick this back onto its hanger over here. Push that in. So put the connector back in. Test the boot. Yep, yeah, it's working. And then we'll just slip that back into place. Side. Just line up all the bolts to the holes. Push that into place like so. And then we go ahead and put the bolts in from the nuts in from underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick the nuts back on to these bolts. Just hand tighten them for now. One, two, and do the other side as well. Go ahead and just tighten this up. So, get that nice and snug, and go ahead and tighten all the others as well. Oh guys, so I've tightened all the uh, the nuts. Um, yep, that is on, nice and solid. So good. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything else back on now as well. We're gonna go and replace this uh, plastic. We're gonna start from the back. We're gonna slip the back in first. That's all. And there you have it. That's all on. So we're gonna go ahead and replace these little plastic clips. Go ahead and just push that in. Do the same here. Push that in. Don't get this plastic piece. Don't put that in place. Like so. Gonna just screw the bolt in and go ahead and just tighten that up. That's on. So, there you go, guys. Everything's back on, and this is how we're looking. It's lined up nicely and it feels nice and solid, just like it should. So, if you guys are having the same issue. Uh, don't waste your money in this dealership go ahead and get yourself uh, this repair kit from XAR it's definitely worth the money hope this helped let me know peace